Well, over the past several weeks, the 1st Cavalry Division at Fort Hood has made the COVID-19 vaccine a top priority with over 300 vaccines given over the course of the last month. And the Pentagon on Monday said they will require service members to receive the vaccine now that Pfizer has received full FDA approval. Texas Today's Barry Roy is live outside the Fort Hood gates with the very latest on a vaccine rodeo to be held today on post. Good morning, Barry. What can you tell us? Yeah, good morning to uh, both of you today as uh, out here outside the gates here as uh, soldiers and family members uh, and uh, civilian employees all get to work here. So that's where that long line of cars uh, outside the Burning Back Gate is right now. But Defense Secretary Lloyd uh, Austin is making good on his vow. He said to make sure that all service members are vaccinated, especially now that it has become approved by the FDA, the coronavirus vaccine uh, that is. But Fort Hood, you know what? They're actually making a push long beforehand as they get ready to host their fifth uh, vaccine rodeo. The 1st Cavalry Division surgeon cell and medical personnel have spent a tremendous amount of time in offering vaccinations, informing troopers about the vaccine and where to get vaccinated. To help with that effort, they have been holding vaccine rodeos, which has helped uh, having the vaccine readily available wherever soldiers have been working. Now, to date, they tell me they've given out 543 vaccines during this effort, but they say more is needed. Vaccinating every eligible service member improves readiness, they say, and once service members are fully vaccinated, it will have an immediate and positive impact on their families, neighbors, and the community. Now, I spoke with Lieutenant Colonel Evan Trivet, the division surgeon, and he tells me the top priority has been talking to troopers to dispel information and to educate as much as possible. He says the benefits of getting the vaccine are immense, especially on the heels of a soldier being hospitalized just last week. It was only last week we did have a soldier who needed to be hospitalized um, for coronavirus and, um, it's, it is, you know, it's heavy in the community. Uh, so, uh, now is certainly an appropriate time to, uh, protect the formation and, and get the shot. Lieutenant Colonel Trivet says an army as an army doctor, he fully supports the decision handed down Monday by the Pentagon. Now, speaking of the Pentagon, they say concerns about the virus are especially acute in the military. They say service members live and work closely together in barracks and on shifts and increasing the risks of uh, increasing the risks of rapid spreading. Any large virus outbreaks in the military could affect America's ability to defend itself in any security crisis. Now, uh, the Pentagon also says what they're going to be doing is they're going to be giving out uh, their military personnel as it becomes mandatory. They're going to make sure that they have a timeline that is out there and provided. They said Chris and Dehesha, they will make that timeline available on the mandating the mandating of the vaccine available in the next few days. Reporting live outside the Fort Hood gate, Barry Roy, 6 News.